Kim Jong-un and his oppressed population may be forced to watch the interview. After all, the Human Rights Foundation plans to drop DVDs of the movie over North Korea using hydrogen balloons. The goal here to get North Koreans to see what's happening in the outside world. Sadly, though, watching such movies can mean death for North Koreans. So let's talk about this. Thor Halverson is the president of the Human Rights Foundation. Welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. First of all, I'd like to get your reaction to Sony's decision to pull the movie, the interview. Uh, in, in, I believe, as someone who lives in a free society, that that is, uh, I mean, it's their right to do so, but it just shows a gutless cowardice. Um, if uh, the North Korean government now said, we'd like you to turn over Seth Rogen, would they do that? Yes. If they said, we'd like you to change your programming, and we want the following of shows changed. I mean, it's, it's, it's a blackmail. And uh, it's really sad that Sony did not have um, the sense uh, and the leadership to say, no, we're not going to do that. We live in a free country and we're not going to do that. There are terrorist attacks on the United States. There are people that say, we don't like the way you live your life. We don't like the way uh, you allow women to drive. We don't like the way that you allow gays and lesbians to have the lives that they do. Are we going to give up our freedoms because uh, a bunch of people in a faraway land run by a crazy dictator say you shouldn't live this way? I think what Sony did is shameless, shameful, actually, really shameful. How do you think Kim Jong-un is reacting this morning? Well, I think uh, Chung-un, what, what you have to see is, and what a lot of people missed, is the reason why the North Korean government hates this film so much is not because it insults their dear leader. Their dear leader gets insulted all the time in the West and gets made fun of. What they are deathly afraid of is that the film is going to make it into the country. Because in the last 10 years, there's been a significant development in the black market routes into the country. In the last 10 years, uh, North Korea has consumed and has enormous thirst for cultural artifacts like films um, and like TV shows. People in, inside North Korea, they know the risks they run. They know that they could get executed. They know that they could end up being arrested or tortured for watching these films, for watching TV shows, for having forbidden material. But they nonetheless are willing to run that risk and, and willing to take that material. And that is very, very scary for the Kims. Okay, so that brings us to your operation, the, the dropping of DVDs over North Korea using these hydrogen balloons. Um, first of all, I'd like to show our viewers a picture of the balloons we're talking about. So explain how this works. How and where do they launch? Well, we launch from the border, um, the southern border uh, with North Korea. And um, right by the river, uh, the balloons are filled with, with hydrogen and uh, attached to the balloons are these enormous plastic bags. Inside the bags, there are, for instance, hundreds of thousands of leaflets. Uh, these leaflets are, are made of plastic, and they are um, quite durable and, and, and um, um, waterproof. The leaflets basically say you're being lied to, there's another life, there's another world outside, and, and all, all, they have all sorts of educational material in them. In addition, DVDs and thumb drives. We, we put thumb drives that have uh, entire copies of Wikipedia. Uh, with, thanks to Jimmy Wales, we were able to um, raise the technology level here so that you, they can insert a thumb drive into a computer. And even though there's no internet in North Korea, because there is no internet there, it's why it's known as the Hermit Kingdom. It's completely closed off. Uh, these thumb drives contain a full copy of Wikipedia. So that, that's, we, we put these in plastic bags. There's a timer on the bag, and the bag. Uh, the, the fastener to the bag detonates and the bags open and, and they spill the contents. So, so people who help you with this, this operation have escaped North Korea. How did they tell you that this helps? Well, it's interesting because obviously like in any defector uh, situation, whether it's, you know, Cuban exiles in Miami or defectors from North Korea, people have different opinions about what works and what doesn't work. We take the approach that we should, we should uh, go on all levels, trying to use smuggling routes, trying to use radio, and at the same time trying to use balloons. Many of the people you actually see in those photographs received a brochure, received a, a leaflet, and uh, realized that they'd been lied to or, or started questioning uh, what their lives were like. And uh, that's really, uh, the effectiveness of the balloons is, can be um, measured by anecdotal evidence for certain.
And, and I must ask you this, because um, uh, we know that if uh, a North Korean is caught watching an American movie, a Western film, they might face prison, they fight, might face death. Is it worth it? Well, consider the following. There are 25 million North Koreans. Of those, a good 10 million of them have access to something from the outside, whether it's a transistor radio, a DVD player, uh, a cell phone. Um, so they do have a thirst for this. What the government, of course, knows that they can't control everyone, so they engage in these uh, very public ways of executing people or um, saying that people who, who allow this into their countries are, 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 um, are, are uh, besmirching the culture of North Korea. The reality is that the regime has suffered so much in terms of its, um, its uh, waste and corruption that it's only a matter of time before more and more ideas cause the downfall of the regime. The North Korean regime will not fall because of missiles or tanks. The North Korean regime will fall because of the power of ideas. And we're just trying in a very small way to assist in, and uh, to accelerate the education of the North Korean people. They want it. They're willing to pay for these things in the black market. Um, so we're certainly not going to stop, regardless of their threats. They've um, threatened us multiple occasions with death, with bombing, with flit slitting our throats. Um, we're certainly not going to stop. Thor Halverson, thank you. I appreciate your being here this morning. Thank you, thank you for having me.